boys identify dangerous sea areas such as sandbanks, rocks and wrecks. They come in various sizes, colours and markings to communicate specific information to the mariner. The biggest, like this one, are known as Class 1 boys. Every year, most boys are lifted for an offshore inspection, revealing their complete structure. The tower section is called the top mark. The bulbous middle section is called the boy body. And then there's the tail tube that counterbalances the top mark. A chain runs from the boy body to a heavy sinker weight that anchors it to the seabed. The boy is jet washed to remove sea life and all the electronic and mechanical equipment is checked for faults and signs of wear and tear. Every six years or so, boys are brought back to land at Harwich or Swansea boy yards, where they're dismantled for a complete overhaul. Many of our boys are 50 to 70 years old and have been placed on various different stations during their lifetimes. When they're reassembled, the correct marks must be added, as well as any technical equipment. The moorings chosen also vary according to boy type, depth of water, the strength of tides and typical weather at the designated station. Trinity House maintains over 500 boys and inspects many more for commercial companies. Whether it's marking a safe channel or warning of wrecks, the humble boy plays a crucial role in keeping seafarers safely on track.